Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rebecca Johnson, Technology Solutions Manager from 3M Company, and today I would like to present to you the Medical Design Solutions for Medical Device Assembly. I will cover the following agenda, materials used in medical devices, methods for attachments, keys to success in medical assembly solutions, as well as some applications. Typically, medical devices are constructed of materials such as metals, plastics, and rubbers. However, as devices become more intricate and higher performing, the types of materials used for constructions have been modified over time. Thermoplastics have replaced materials of a few decades past due to the easy fabricate, non-corrosive, low cost, and a wide range of properties. Here are some of the materials commonly used in medical devices. They are applied to a, for numerous purposes, such as bags for infusion solutions, components of medical devices, and disposables. The most important reason for the use of the synthetic materials in medical was, and it still is, hygiene. Synthetic disposables can be used to replace medical instruments made out of other materials. Another crucial aspect is biocompatibility. On one hand, the synthetic material may not be harmful to the patient. On the other hand, the properties of the synthetic material may not be affected by the biological environment where it is used. This slide shows a wide range of medical device applications for numerous purposes. Anything from a small handheld device to something on a more larger scale like an MRI machine. There are several different types of methods of assembling devices. Solvent welding is fast, simple, and inexpensive. However, it offers pore gap filling used only for thermoplastics. Ultrasonic welding, vibration, and laser welding are also fast and simple, but only use thermoplastics. They're not good for gap filling and can be quite costly. Adhesive bonding offers the ability to bond dissimilar materials, fill gaps, bond and seal, and can be automated. However, in some cases, curing and fixturing may be required. There are several types of adhesive technologies to choose, ranging from post-it repositionable type of adhesive, foam tapes, to structural adhesives. You'll see here on this chart the adhesive load-bearing capabilities when you test for an overlap shear. The type of adhesive, such as a pressure-sensitive adhesive, will have an overlap shear of 1 to 10 pounds per square inch, whereas an epoxy will have a stronger strength of 2,000 to 6,000 pounds per square inch. So why would you use an adhesive? Adhesives can replace mechanical fasteners by reducing stress concentration at screws, rivets, and holes bond dissimilar materials for thermal expansion and contraction, bond and seal preventing leaks, and can be automated to increase your productivity and improve your overall cost and process. There are a broad range of medical adhesives from stick to skin to non-contact applications, as you can see here. It is important when considering an adhesive for medical devices that the adhesives are not approved by FDA. Only the final medical device needs FDA approval. However, manufacturers routinely get their products tested for biocompatibility as a marketing tool to increase the buyer's trust in the protocol. Adhesives are either tested to USP Class 6 or ISO 10993. This slide shows the typical testing, such as cytotoxicity and muscle implantation, that consists of regulatory process. It is essential that each device is evaluated based on its own unique characteristics, such as surface devices, externally communicating devices, or implant devices. Another important key to success with medical device adhesives is sterilization environment. It is important to match the adhesive to the method of sterilization of the medical device and to know the number of sterilizations done during the life of the, of the device itself. ETO sterilization is commonly used for medical devices which cannot withstand the extreme steam environment of the autoclave. 
There are also FDA standards for medical device design for durable goods, which testing compliance in conjunction with cleaning, disinfecting, and sterilization efficacy. There are several different adhesives used in medical devices that range from epoxies to tapes to reclosable fasteners. And today I just want to give you a brief overview of each of these different types of adhesive solutions. There's medical assembly solutions. These are the structural adhesives that have an overlap shear strength, as I mentioned earlier, of at least 1,000 pounds per square inch. So they can withstand a high load bearing condition. They can form to cure thermal set plastics. And due to their ability to cross-link, epoxies offer superior chemical, environmental, and thermal resistance. They have an ability to bond to a wide variety of substrates. They fill large gaps and can make epoxy is used for, for deep suction and potting of medical components. In addition to the superior temperature resistance of this class of adhesives, makes them very suitable for requiring multiple autoclave exposures. This slide shows the overlap shear strength comparison of the epoxy adhesive and its superior performance to a rivet a bolt and a spot weld and a weld. And you can see from performance how far superior that is when you're using, in this test, it was a 1.6 millimeter thick aluminum material and we did an overlap shear test. Here are a couple applications showing for medical devices using an epoxy adhesive. The one in the upper right hand corner shows that bonding a low surface energy material for a paddle for a defibrillator. Here's another application showing a, a temporary boot that bonds soles to boots and bumpers to rubbers. It'll also bond to a variety of other substrates such as rubbers, metals, and plastics, and more. Cyanoacrylates and light cure adhesives are other type of design solutions used for medical device. And you can see here, cyanoacrylates can bond instantly. Clamping is not required. You can have them automated in the system. They're good for low surface energy plastics and elastomers with the use of a primer. They're not made for gap filling. They could be relatively brittle and not suitable for steam sterilization. But they offer, they're available with a varying viscosities, cure times, and strength properties. Light cure adhesives, on the other hand, can bond in seconds, clamping often is not required, they can be automated, but the difference between a cyanoacrylate and light cure adhesive is that you're going to need the adhesive to see light or UV. This slide shows the different applications for light cure adhesives. Anything from catheter type of applications to tube sets to needles to component assemblies for diagnostic equipment. The critical processing key with the light cure acrylic adhesives is that the light must reach that full bond line in order to cure that adhesive. It is important to select the right equipment for the processing of the product. Light curing adhesives require specific radiant energy in order for the polymerization reaction to occur. It is critical that the end user match the adhesive with the appropriate light source. There are various dispensing equipment as well to choose. Dispensing can be either manual for bottles or syringes, semi-automatic for hand or foot operated type of dispensers, as well as fully automated. Another medical device solution is our medical assembly tapes. These are available in multiple constructions to accommodate your design challenges. These are pressure sensitive adhesives requiring a clean surface on the substrate require minimal pressure of 25 pounds per square inch. They can bond to challenging surfaces such as low surface energy plastics, the polypropylenes, the polyethylenes, as well as hard to bond to silicone without the use of a primer. They offer shock resistance if you're doing a uh, cold drop test. They have extreme temperature capabilities from cold temperature to high temperature as well as extreme humidity environment. They are incorporated into membrane switch spacers. They also offer electrical and thermal conductivity features. We can provide optical clarity. 
They provide vibration sound damping. You can bond and seal liquids. So these are going to be very durable over the life of the medical device. You can enhance appearance, improve your performance, improve process, are great benefits that can help you better product, to have a better product in the market by using a pressure sensitive adhesive technology. And this chart will show some of the advantages of using a pressure sensitive adhesive. I mentioned earlier that it'll bond to a variety of substrates. We all, they're also designed for high speed production and application equipment can be used for quick stick so you don't have to wait for curing or dwelling or any type of fixturing to meet your production demands. It can be used as a third hand as well in your process to eliminate, like I said, clamps or fixtures. So there's some significant labor savings too for precision die cut type parts. This slide shows applications for the die cuts to be bond seal components throughout a device. You can use them for faceplate attachment of your medical device, gasket attachment, or even keypad assembly. There are also medical assembly label materials which carry a variety of important information from tracking to protection to security, warning, instruction, and identification. They can perform reliably for challenging conditions, to bond to hard to stick to surfaces. They can offer tampering, exposure to liquids, as well as harsh conditions of sterilizations, even steam autoclave. The last medical assembly reclosable fastener solution that I'd like to, are reclosable fasteners. There are two types of reclosable fasteners. This technology is referred to as a dual lock technology, and that is it contains if you look at mushroom-like stemmed heads that will snap to form and secure an attachment. And if you look at the lower slide here, that is another type of fastening attachment, hook and loop, where the hook and loop, which are basically stiff 